Welcome back to Project Elements. You are a missionary. You have been called to go into this world and bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to souls. Now, these souls you're going to be bringing to Sabbath school. And now, when they've studied the Sabbath school, let's say for a quarter, are they ready for baptism? Probably not. So there's a third element that the Lord has put into place in order for us to be successful in our mission work. We go into the world, element number one, and we take people from the world to the Sabbath school, element number two. In the Sabbath school, they begin to learn a little bit about Jesus Christ. They learn how to study scripture for themselves. They learn how others interact with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And they begin to want to know more. This more is when they are introduced to gospel workers. Now, gospel workers are members who have been set aside for a special work. They have a different commission. It's not the commission in Matthew 28, 19 and 20 that's given to everybody. The commission to go into the world and bring the gospel and teach. This commission is given specifically to gospel workers. It is the commission that was given to Peter after the cross. He had been a gospel worker before, but had not fully understood the commission that God had given to the ministry. And so in John chapter 21, we find Jesus and Peter sitting together and eating. And verse 15 says, So when they had dined, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my my sheep. This commission, specifically given to gospel workers, is the commission to feed. So while all the members of the church, all the disciples of Christ are called to be missionaries and to go, some have been set aside for a special work. It is the work of feeding. Now notice carefully that there's two groups that are fed. The first group are lambs and the second group are sheep. So we're looking at those who are young in age and young in the faith. They need to be worked with first. And then those who are a little bit more seasoned can get their work from the gospel workers as well. The work then of the gospel worker is to go and feed those that were found by the disciples. The disciples going out, everyone being called to be a disciple, everyone going out and doing missionary work and finding souls. And from those souls, some are interested in deeper truth. And for them, we have the gospel workers. In Desire of Ages, page 812, we have a little bit more description about this. It says, The first work that Christ entrusted to Peter on restoring him to the ministry was to feed the lambs. This was a work in which Peter had little experience. It would require great care and tenderness, much patience and perseverance. It called him to minister to those who were young in the faith, to teach the ignorant, to open the scriptures to them, and to educate them for usefulness in Christ's service. Heretofore, Peter had not been fitted to do this, or even to understand its importance. But this was the work which Jesus now called upon him to do. For this work, his own experience of suffering and repentance had prepared him. So a soul that has expressed interest needs to be fed more. And that feeding is done by the gospel workers. They have been called to do a special work, a work to prepare souls for baptism. In Acts of the Apostles, page 328 and 329, it says, A true minister does the work of the master. He feels the importance of his work, realizing that he sustains to the church and to the world a relation similar to that which Christ sustained. He works untiringly to lead sinners to a nobler, higher life, that they may obtain the reward of the overcomer. His lips are touched with a live coal from the altar, and he uplifts Jesus as the sinner's only hope. Those who hear him know 
that he has drawn near to God in fervent, effectual prayer. The Holy Spirit has rested upon him. His soul has felt the vital heavenly fire, and he is able to compare spiritual things with spiritual. Power is given him to tear down the strongholds of Satan. Hearts are broken by his presentation of the love of God, and many are led to inquire, what must I do to be saved? You have been called to go into this world and bring souls to the Sabbath school. In the Sabbath school, they will want to learn more, and this more is supplied by the gospel workers. Some of you may even be called into this work of ministry. God has a special plan, a special purpose for you. And I know that as you embrace this plan, God will work miracles through you.